Hot Springs Village Inside Out is a closer look at the greatness of Hot Springs Village, Arkansas and the surrounding areas. People, places, experiences. Hot Springs Village is one of the most beautiful places on earth. Join me, Randy Cantrell, and my co-host, Dennis Simpson, as we engage in weekly conversations to explore Hot Springs Village Inside Out. Today's show is brought to you by Central Arkansas's favorite radio station, KVRE. Find them on the dial at 92.9 FM. Stream them live at kvre.com. Remax of Hot Springs Village is the largest real estate office with over 30 full-time agents and support staff. They're also an award-winning Remax office. Visit them to learn more about this beautiful place to figure out your real estate needs. Call them today at 1-800-364-9007 or find them online at explorehsv.com. They are Remax of Hot Springs Village at 1-800-364-9007 or online at explorehsv.com. And you're back with another episode of Hot Springs Village Inside Out. Myself, Mr. Cantrell, and Mr. Kevin Meekum. People are wondering, now, why would you have the general manager of the Town Homeowners Association on? What's he going to talk about, Dennis? Kevin, what are we going to talk about? Well, I think we're going to talk about some remodeling. And we would talk about remodeling because that's what you do your other part of the day, right? That's correct. Yes, sir. So I work for a company called Benson Restoration. Now tell me how I would, okay, let's say I bought an older home on the West End and they all have the same cabinets in them and they all have the same small bedrooms and the small, small, same small bathrooms. And I want to make a change. What do I do? What's the step one? Step one is to try to figure out what you want because <laughs> there's so many possibilities. Uh, so- but best thing to do is to give me a call or to talk to your family, whoever's living with you, kind of get an idea of what's going to be best for you and your home. That way you can utilize all your space. Uh, but, but I'll be happy to meet with you to, to kind of go over that as well, though. Do, do we need to have an, we need an idea before we call you and say, what would you do in here, right? Yes, please. <laughs> so <laughs> there are many times where a homeowner will say, I have no idea what I want, but this is not it. So please yeah. change. It. And yeah. uh, at that point, it's, it's a little difficult because <laughs> there's so many options and different ways to go. Yeah, no, I got you. I got you. And for those of you who are watching, you know that Kevin's on the move today. We're kind of tracking him down. And if you want to talk to Kevin Meekham, it's going to look a lot like this because he's a moving kind of guy. He's going to have to find something to do, right? It's every day. That's right. I'm always doing something. That's right. So you're a licensed uh, contractor and y'all do remodels in the village. So I call you, I've got a plan. I say, man, I want to change this bathroom. I don't know what tile I want, but, but I want this and you're going to do what, who, who gets the permits, who starts all that? How does that even begin? So we take care of start to finish. We do all the permitting. We take care of all the, all the license requirements, insurance, everything. We do all of that for you. Uh, only thing that you need is to know what you want, kind of the style that you want to go with, colors, that kind of thing. But I help you go through all of that as well. So do I have to have everything nailed down before I call you? Do I have to know exactly what tile I want? No, not not necessarily. Uh, just a good idea because honestly, if if you come into it with the mindset it's this or nothing, then you're going to be disappointed from the get go. Because because yeah. uh, with with today's day and age, there's so much need for materials across the board it's ridiculous so you've got to come into it with the mindset of this is kind of an idea that i'm wanting to go with i like this style i like these colors you know what are my options so, so that way so, you, you can kind of come and go you know you can you're not going to get everything exactly how you want just because of the the need the supply and demand of all the materials right now so, but, so let me cut cut to the chase here so i should have maybe my first backsplash my second blast splash and my third optional backsplash picked out in case it doesn't go because right. i mean you're not you can't get a permit and wait six months for my tile to come in right right yes sir so permits in the village are, are good for six months now you can always <laughs> renew them and extend them uh, nobody, of course, wants to do that if you can avoid it. You'd rather get in and get it done so that way you're not holding everything up. Uh, but for certain aspects, like for tile, you're not necessarily having to pull permitting for that either. So uh, if you're not changing any plumbing or anything, you're just changing out a backsplash 
or replacing some tile flooring or something like that, you don't have to worry about permitting. So that's not a big deal. Uh, so then you're just worried about when is the material available? That's going to be your biggest, uh, biggest delay. So, so what's the best advice? What, what the number one thing not to do? And then what's the number one thing to do? Give me about one of each. So the best thing to do, just like you said, have, have a good idea of what you want, but have a couple of options in mind, you know, different, different uh, varieties of different things that you're okay with. Uh, worst thing to do is to just to, just to walk into it with that mindset of it's got to be done this way. It's got to be done by this time. It's got to be done period. Uh, because there's gotta be perfect. It's gotta be perfect. Right. Right. I mean, there's, there's going to be too many variables there to say 100% by this date with ordering these materials, you know, I'm, I have no control over whenever you go to order the materials and, you know, they, they say it'll be in, in two weeks and it comes in in two months. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, so, but, but those things happen. Well, tell me this. So what's the scale of project that you guys want to work on? I mean, I mean, everybody has a niche. I mean, are you, are right. you happiest remit, remodeling a kitchen or will you, will you do a complete gut and we build it back? What, what, what do you want to do? Right. So Benson and we're a full service restoration company. So we ha we handle anything from the smallest remodel up to complete rebuild. So if you have a complete fire and you lose your entire house, we can build it back. So, uh, so you're going from restoration. Let, the, tie us into that. What, what does that have to do with regular construction? Are those uh, synonymous? Uh, somewhat, yes, sir. So, restoration company just comes back and puts it back. You know, after you have storm damage or or a fire or water loss or or whichever. So, we're just going to put you back to how you want it, but you can change as you go if you want to change something up. Uh, but new construction is probably the biggest biggest variant there. Uh, you, you know, remodels and all is no big deal. That's part of a restoration process. But uh, new construction is going to be your biggest oddball from restoration side. Uh, so we don't do a lot of new construction. And I try to be very upfront with anybody that's asking. You know, we don't do a lot of that. We will. That's not a problem. But we're, we focus more on the restoration or remodel side. So now you obviously have subs like any general contractor, right? Sure. Yes, sir. But I mean, your subs, are they oriented to do quick turnaround remodel stuff or are they just, I mean, they're not sitting around waiting on you, but you know, how does right. that work? So depending on what the, what the trade is would determine if we're actually going to sub it out or not. Uh, anything that's license specific is something we're going to sub out automatically. Electric, HVAC, plumbing, that, those types of things. Uh, any type of framework, sheetrock, painting, flooring, siding, those types of things we handle in-house. So it's, it's a much faster turnaround because it's our own people, our own schedule. We just do it. You know, we put you on our list of to-dos and you're the next one there. So and how, how do we get in touch with you again? <laughs> so my phone number is 501-915-4672. But, and I'll be happy to call, meet with, visit with whoever's available. And, and a lot of people here in the village, as you well know, a lot of people, uh, the homeowners here live out of state. So we do a lot for people that live out of state. Uh, actually, I just walked out of a house, just taking some pictures for the homeowner. We just finished today. He lives down in Texas. I'm just going to shoot him the pictures, take his key back to the rental manager, and he's done. So those types of things, we do that all the time. So I just heard you say, I don't have to be there for you to do the remodel. Is that what I heard? That's correct. Yes, sir. It wow. You don't have to do a thing. You can just shoot me some pictures of what you want it to look like, and I'll take it from there. Yeah, Kevin, that's what people are wanting to. Are you sure you want to give out your cell phone number on this? You sure? So it, it's out there way too much already. So why not? <laughs> so, it's on every bathroom wall. Hey, we're good. We're good. Might yeah, as well. That's right. that's right. Yes, sir. For for a good for a good smooth wall, call Kevin at blah 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 blah. Right? Yeah. Right. Yes. Well, sir. Kevin, I tell you what, we're going to come back with you soon. And thanks for taking just a minute. I know it's been a oh, hectic yeah. day and, and thanks so much. We're going to come back to you. We're going to talk with you about your position at the, as the general manager of the town homeowners association, what that involves, how we're going to work on that. We'll do that in another episode, but for now, thank you so much for being on hot Springs village inside out. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. It's a pleasure, Kevin. We'll talk again soon. All right. Thanks for listening to another episode of hot Springs village inside out a podcast where Hot Springs Village, Arkansas is the star. Please subscribe to the podcast. You can do that by visiting our website, hsvinsideout.com, and tell a friend.